Hey, welcome to Color Up. I'm here with Sean from Potato Poker. What's your poker player? What do you know about craps? I'm a craps idiot. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're gonna learn how to play some craps. And if you do wanna check out this channel, it's called Potato Poker. I follow it, it's one of my favorite poker channels. And as you know, if or maybe you don't know, I started my own channel, Color Up Poker. But definitely check out Sean's. He's a lot better at poker than I am, and I'm actually here learning from him this weekend. But let's get back to craps. So first off, kind of, let's start from the beginning. What do you kind of know about the game, or what are you aware as a poker player? What do you know about the game of craps? All right, not a lot, but I've watched a couple of your videos and retained a little bit of stuff. So okay. I know I'm. if I put money on the pass line, that I can bet one of these to start. Okay. And then I need to, I don't remember which ones, but not hit certain numbers to start. Okay. Uh, and then whatever number I roll out here, the puck gets placed on it, and okay. I'm trying to hit that number to get a pass line bet. Okay. And that's so, about what I know. <laughs> okay, so you said you've watched some of my videos. So, as far as you've seen it in the casino, I'm assuming, or? Yeah, a little bit. I've, I've stood behind the table and, and watched a little bit, but that's, that's the extent of my knowledge. Okay, so it kind of is, looks like a pretty confusing game then, I guess. It does. As a, <laughs> even as a poker player, which I'm learning is a lot more complicated than this game, as, as we'll learn. So let me bring it back down to the very basics. Okay. So in the game of craps, you get two dice and you roll them. This can make 11 different numbers. That's it. There's 36 combinations, but essentially 11 numbers. And all this game is, is you're betting on which of those 11 numbers you think will roll. Okay. If you bet on a number, here it says five. If you bet on the five, the five rolls, you win your bet. That's all the game is. And I have to wait until the first dice roll before before I bet numbers out here? Nope. No? Okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah, the, the game can be a little, there's all kinds of rules and complications, but I just wanted to do a general overall, Okay. is that the game is super simple. You pick a number and if it rolls, you win. If you don't roll it, then you don't win. So okay. it is a game of chance, unlike poker is a little mix of skill and chance. This is a, some people would disagree with me, but this is a pure game of chance. Uh, some people believe that you can, uh, affect the dice or control what numbers appear on the dice, but we're not going to get into that. So what you were talking about is how the game starts. Well, let me back up with a buy-in. So if when you approach a craps table, you want to buy in just like any other casino game to get chips, right? Right. You play with chips instead of cash. If you see this puck when you approach a table, this will let you know if the game is off or the game is on. You'll see it on one of these numbers it means someone's in the middle of a hand. Okay. So you probably don't want to join in the game when you see this puck is on, but as soon as the puck goes off, all you do is put your money down on the table in front of you, and then a dealer will exchange that money for chips, and then you'll be ready to play. So did you bring any money with you today? I brought a little bit. Does this, is that any good? <laughs> okay, a couple stacks. So this is a little above, above <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, a little above my pay grade. I appreciate that. I'm gonna let you hang on to that. All right. But let's say maybe like uh, $500. I mean, that's, might be in, that's, that's not how I roll, but okay, I'll Okay, I understand. I'll go Just, you know, <laughs> for me and my viewers, we'll be a low, little low, low roller today. Two, I'm going to give you $500. Three, uh, four, five, right? Okay. So they're going to count up your money and they're going to push it and you're going to put it in your rack right in front of where you're standing. Okay. And now you're ready to play. So the basics of the game is the pass line bet. And so I will briefly to cover that. I don't actually even bet that that much, but that is how what the game is based on. So when the puck is off and you make a pass line bet, the numbers you were talking about, if you roll a seven or 11, you win. If you roll a two, three or 12, you lose. Okay, now I get that immediately on the pass. Is right, that so that, that's kind of okay. like the that's kind of like the basics of the game. So let's okay. try it out. Put put some money on the pass. Twenty bucks. So now you know if a seven or eleven rolls, you win two, three, or twelve, you're going to lose. Now that's the game resolves itself thirty three percent of the time with one of those numbers. Okay. Any other number rolls, this puck will be put on it. So if you roll four, five, six, eight, nine, or ten, we'll mark that number, and now your pass line bet is a bet on whatever this number is. So in this case, it's a five. At this point in the game, it's stage two of the game. If a five rolls, you win. A seven rolls, you lose. No other number matters. So 
on the on the start out if I get a seven here. You just win. So you got twenty bucks there. You'd win twenty, 20 bucks. One to yep. one. Okay. Okay. And then after that, I don't want to hit a seven because it right. ends all the rolling. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's kind of the basics of the game. So the, there's the come out roll, and then once there's a point set, at that point you want to avoid the seven. So you can okay. roll all day, which would be nice. Nothing affects it except for the seven. So that's okay. kind of the basics of the game. Now you can bet opposite, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but let's cover some of the other bets. Okay. The come bet is the exact same as the pass line bet, except for we're in the middle of the game. So we're in the middle of the game, it's on a five. If you were to make a come bet, go ahead and put your money in the come. Okay. Remember, it's just like the pass line. This is the first roll. What would ha what would cause us to win? Let's, uh, let's go a seven and eleven. That's right. Okay. And then a two three would cause it to lose, and then any other number it would actually move to this. So this one doesn't move. This one moves just so they keep track of it. So let's say for instance it doesn't win or lose on the come out roll. Okay. We roll an eight. They'll take that bet and they'll put it inside of the eight. And now you have a bet on the eight. You roll an eight, you win. Seven, you lose. Gotcha. Okay. So, so I'm not going to get paid on anything until... So it's at seven or 11, I'm going to get paid. Yep. Otherwise, it moves. And yep. then I get paid if I hit that from yep. there. Okay. You just have a bet on the eight. And is that the, the only way to move it onto a number? That is the only way that a come bet will move on. Now, I'll talk about place bets next, which means you actually place a number right on... The numbers. So that's the basics of it. Okay. And then, not to be more confusing, but they you can add an additional amount to this bet, and it's called an odds bet. Okay. So it's not marked on the table, but is also the best bet in the casino. And what it is is right here behind your bet, you're allowed to make an additional bet. Depending on the table, you might it might be two times this bet, three, four, five times this bet, maybe ten times this bet. <clears throat> Some casinos even allow. 20 and 100. Hmm. So what it is, is you make a bet that pays true odds of rolling the number. So this gets paid one to one. This odds bet gets paid according to the true odds of rolling a number. So, so and you, that's normally three times the amount? Um, it, well, a lot of tables are, if the number is a four or 10, it's three times. If it's a five or nine, it's four times. If it's a six or eight, it's five times. That's kind oh. of standard in most casinos. Okay. Some, it might only be two times no matter what. Let's just make it uh, two times. So if you have 20 okay. here, or you can, yeah, let's make it like $40 behind. Okay. So the odds, in this case, you get, you get paid two to one. So your $40 bet, if you were to roll a four, you'd win $80 because there's six ways to roll a seven. There are three ways to roll a four. So that reduces down to two to one. So you're twice as likely to lose, but if you roll it, you win twice as much money, but they okay. pay you fairly. Okay. Every other bet in the casino, they don't pay you fairly, right? They take a little percentage out. Right. This bet, they pay you it's fair. straight on. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So in this case, your 40 would pay 80. You're two, two to one. This is three to two, so you get paid 60. Okay. And then here you'd get six for every five. Cool. So the. You can make, you put that money, this is a self-service bet, you put your money behind in odds if you want. And then with a come bet, you'd actually have to ask the dealer to do it. Anything up here, the dealer deals with the money. So in that case, okay. if you did want to add an additional bet of odds on, on this on the eight, let's say we make it $50, you'd put it down in the come and ask the dealer odds on my eight, please. But it has to be the number that was just rolled. You can't just say move well, that money over somewhere else. Right, as an odds bet, you can't. Now, okay. if you had made a come bet, like you can keep making come bets every roll, and they move up to different numbers, then you okay. can add odds. But you can only add odds to a pass line bet or a come bet. So what if I what if I have one on the eight? I bet this again, mm -hmm. and another eight comes out. Does that go here as well? Yeah. So what it okay. does is it replaces. So this would you hit that? You would win that. It'd come down and we'd get paid, and this would come up and replace it. And I would take this off the table. Yep, you could, okay. or you can leave it. So a lot of times, oh, okay, okay. A lot of times, what'll happen instead of actually physically moving it, they'll do what's called off and on. So you win this bet, this one's coming on. They'll just pay you right next to it and say off and on for twenty-five dollars. I see. And you can choose to take this off the table or yep. leave it out. Well, to move. you could take your profit for sure, yeah. or you could double it up. But this okay. is. 
you don't have to leave this bed. You can pull that all down and say, oh, cool. Okay. Whatever you want. So we'll just pull that off for now. You have an eight. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to get fabulously rich playing this game, right? Sometimes you can. <laughs> so sometimes you can get fabulously poor playing this game too. <laughs> so the key to this game is you have enough money to actually withstand the ups and downs because it is the dice do crazy things. Okay. Sometimes you'll have a losing streak and you'll roll a lot of the numbers you have bet. Sometimes you'll do well, sometimes you won't. It's, it's just a game of chance, right? Okay. The nice thing about this game is you can come in with, you know, $100 or $500 and with a good roll, you can then leave with like $5,000. So sounds pretty Yeah, good. it's a very progressive game if you want it to be. Um, okay, pass and come are kind of like the basics of the game. Now we'll cover some of the other bets. The field bet is pretty self-explanatory. It's a one roll bet. If you put money in it, if, you, if it rolls one of these numbers, you win. If you roll one of the numbers that's not listed, you lose the bet. But if it rolls any of those numbers, yep. you, okay. Yeah. And then as you can see here, if the two rolls, you get double. If the 12 rolls, there, you get paid triple. Okay. So like put some money in there. Okay. I'll show you how that works. In the field? Yep. 20 bucks in the so field. So it's just, a, it, you, actually you can roll the dice. Now when you roll the dice, you roll into the opposite end. It has to hit this wall. Okay. And we'll see what happens here. Okay. Oh, I failed. That's all right. <laughs> At least one of them hit. They may or may not, but that you rolled a six. Okay. It's not in the, it's not in the field. We'll take so, your money. Okay. So it looks like there's a lot of numbers. The numbers that are missing are the five, six, seven, and eight. The problem is those are the most, the most common. Likely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most likely to roll. Yeah. So okay. it looks like a good bet. Eh, not so much. Not so much, maybe. So okay. that's the field bet. The next bet are, instead of going through a pass line or come, you can make what's called a place bet and place money directly on a number. So, <clears throat> and that really comes down to picking any, any number you want. And you can only do one number? Nope, you can do all the numbers if you want. Okay. So a lot of different strategies might be, well, I want the f inside number, so five through nine, mm -hmm. or some people say, I wanna bet across, and they'll bet four through 10. Okay. So and really, if I was brand new, what would you recommend? I, seeing that I am brand new, I should say. Okay. It, a brand new player, I would actually tell a brand new player, because a lot's going on with this game. Yeah. Make a pass line bet and just watch. Okay. Get to, used to the flow of the game. Yeah. That sort of thing. The next bet I would tell a player is to make a place bet after the pass line bet. Once you feel comfortable, you see how things work. You know, you might last 20 minutes if they never roll a five or a seven in this game. You know, it's fine. Does the rolling, does the whole round end if you hit the number that you were trying to hit? Or do you keep rolling? Well, you if you roll the number, you get to keep rolling. Okay, yeah. If you roll a seven when the puck is off, you keep rolling. Only time the game ends and the dice move to the next player is if you're on a number and a seven rolls, then yeah, it's okay. called a seven out, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I would recommend a brand new player pay just a plus sign so they see how things go. Okay. Some people are more adventurous. The next bets I would make are place the six and eight. Let's do that. And so really what you do- Do you do the same amount that's here or does it matter? Well, you have to meet a table minimum. Okay. So if you're at a $10 table, all your bets have to be $10. Okay. If you're at a $15 table and so on. So what you do is, again, this is a dealer area. You can't make these bets, so you take your money. Okay. You put it on the table and say, I'd like to place my place the six and eight. Okay, I'd like to place the six and eight, please. And he'll take this up and he'll put it on the box. Okay. Now you have a bet on the six and eight. So if the six rolls, you'll get paid. If the seven rolls, well, you lose everything. Okay. If the eight rolls, you get paid. If the seven rolls, you'll lose all your bets. Okay. So, he, I, this is a little tricky and this tricks up some people. Let's say we're at a $10 minimum table. You gave me $10, that's perfect. Because of the math, these get paid nine to five. So you get paid 18. Okay. These get paid seven, seven to five, five. So you get paid 14. Okay. These here get paid seven to six. So you don't actually have, you wanna bet in increments of $6 to get paid properly. Oh, okay. Right, so in this case you want and the six and eight, always in increments of six. So you want to bet 12, 18, 24, or, you know, okay. and so on. So in this case, they'd say, you know, let me have four more dollars. Okay. So would I just get some white? 
Yep, you don't have it, so you just you can give me one chip. Okay. What they'll do is they'll give you a dollar change. Yep. And they'll set you up like that. Now you have proper bets. Now okay. these 12 are gonna pay 14. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. So that's a place bet. Now, <clears throat> one thing to keep note of, and you can ask the dealer anytime you want, they're there to help you, is where your bets are because there's gonna be all kinds of bets all over the place. Now, which ones are yours? Right. Right? So right. Okay. you, you want to know where your money is. Yeah. So what they do is imagine these boxes like a table. So you're in this position here and the table goes around. Imagine this box as a table and it goes around. So if I put the money right here, this is for this player in that corner. I see. Okay. And then usually the, you, they fit four players. So this player is going to be in this corner. And then it goes over here. I see. And then this player up in this corner is going to be all the way around next to the dealer. The person stands here. I see. Okay. So you can always ask them. Which one is my bet? Which one's my bet, but okay. they'll keep all your bets. So if you make a bet on the four, they're not going to put it over here or back here. You're always same. going to be in the same spot. Okay. Okay. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. All right. So the six, you have a place bet on the six and eight. Okay. You make those anytime you want, and that kind of covers the place bets. But these, I don't need to go in increments of six because the payout's different. <clears throat> it's a one to one. It's a one to one payout, okay. yep. Okay. So you can add anything you want as long as it says meets the table minimum. Okay. Perfect. Um, so we've covered the pass, field, come, and then place bets. Okay. Now there's some intricacies, such as at certain levels, you would want to buy the four and 10. Usually the casino will let you know, but usually at $20, instead of it being a place bet, they move it inside the box. It just pays a little different. It's still oh. a bet on the four, but you pay a 5% VIG. It just pays a better. It's, hmm. it's kind of the same bet. Here you get paid nine to five. Here you get paid 10 to five or two to one minus 5%. But it just works out that you get, after $20, you want to make a buy bet instead of a place bet, but hopefully the dealers will let you know that. So to make sure I heard you right, if I size up my bet, I get better payout? Right, on the four and 10, you, you would Just wanna make it a buy bet, yeah. Okay, okay. There's very rarely, there are some situations, hardly any casinos allow it where they take the, it's called the VIG, that 5%, only on a win, then it makes sense to buy a five and nine. Hmm. It never makes sense to buy a six and eight. So basically, okay. $20 and up, you want to buy the four and 10 instead of place it. But okay. usually you'll see that or you'll, the dealers will let you know. Okay. Some places they even automatically do it. You don't even have to worry about it. All right, the next thing is probably the center of the table. These are pretty easy bets. They're called picture bets a lot of times. You just roll them as you see the picture. Okay. These do, bets- Do you ever bet those? Uh, not so much. So they, they pay well, they pay and they usually, they're always marked, mm -hmm. but they're unlikely to roll. So yeah. they're high risk, high reward type bets. So usually they don't have to meet table minimum though. So $10 table, you could probably bet a dollar Oh, okay. on these bets. So if you throw it, you got a dollar, yeah. let's throw a dollar in and you would 31. throw these two. It's called the stick man. He'll be standing right next in this position. Okay. You say, I would like to bet on the 12. So again, it's just like the table. He'd put you there in the corner. Well, actually, he has to do both tables, so you'd be right there. If you imagine the table going around. Okay. So your bet's right there, and you have a bet on the 12. The 12 rolls, you win $30 okay. for your one, to your $1. If any other number rolls, you lose that dollar. Any other number, you get one chance. You get one chance, okay. one roll. Okay. So the same thing, this is a bet on 11, bet on the three, bet on the two. You can bet on all four of them at once. That's called a horn bet, or those numbers are called horn. Usually if you make them, they'll stack them up in there. It just means you have a bet on all of them. I see. But it's really, this. they can do it either way. And so if I'm hearing you right, this is the only time I should touch my chips. Otherwise I need to tell the dealer what I want. The field, those, um, yeah, everything else is the dealer. The dealer will place all these and the dealer will place all these bets. Okay, okay, cool. Um, my table is a little condensed, so you can actually reach everything, but in a real casino, it's a little bit more spread out. There's other people in the way, so you couldn't reach these bets anyway. 
Okay. But these are bet just like the picture. This bet is any craps. Pay seven to one. Hmm. It's the craps numbers, two, three, and 12. Okay. Same bet, you could just do it right there. Okay. As, as a single bet. So remember, you on this first roll of the dice, you lose on the two, three, and 12. So a lot of times people will bet this. So if they- To cover that bet. To cover that, to hedge that bet. You know? I see, okay. So that's one kind of strategy people use. Okay. Um, any seven bet, just what it says. Any seven rolls, you, you win four to one. Okay. The next are the hard way bets. These ones are a little different. They're not quite, they're not a one roll bet. So if you make a hard way bet, a lot of times called all day hard ways, if you, you have to roll it just like the picture. So if you roll a hard 10, you win seven to one. Okay. So you would win $7 to your $1 chip. Okay. And then your bet would stay up to win. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of times you might see a layout that says eight, four, one. It means the same thing. So let me have that $7. Yeah. So what they would, so this wins seven, two, your one. The layout says eight to one. They do that because it sounds better, like you're getting more. Oh, and they take your original. Right, bet. so they yeah, go, here's eight, eight <laughs> four, your one, yeah. Eight four your eight one. Four your one. Gotcha. There's your one dollar bet. You still only get seven. It works okay. out exactly the same. But it sounds it just, so good. It, yeah, it sounds so much better. <laughs> so you do want to look out for that four or two, but okay, it means the same thing. Okay, a little trick that casinos do. But how these work is, they stay up no matter what rolls, but they will lose on an easy ten, okay, or a seven. Hmm. So with the so ten, four and a six, right. So we can go six and four, you would lose that bet. I see. Um, and yeah, it has it just has to roll like the picture and you win the bet. Okay. Or you know, a seven or an easy way will lose that bet. Okay. So some players love these. Um, as a new player, I would probably avoid them, but okay. they're they're fun. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's like the, you know, like a side bet or something like that. And you know, blackjack, they might have a little extended game. These bets here are just ways for dealers to keep track of it. The C stands for craps. They may put it there, they may put it there. Same same bet. Oh, okay. E stands for 11, because it's a very popular bet. 11 is? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's just a popular bet. So it's called a yo oh, on this. this game. Okay. Yeah, so they could put the 11 there or the 11 there. Oh, okay. It means the same thing, just okay. different positions where it was easy for the dealer. All right. Um, and that kind of covers the light side of the game. Now, with this okay. game, everything you just learned, you can bet the opposite. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I usually don't talk to new players about that, but... The opposite of the pass is the don't pass. So the first roll, instead of winning on 7-Eleven, you lose on 7-Eleven. Okay. You win on 2-3, bar the 12, push the 12. Push. Okay. You don't win on the 12. So it's just basically opposite. If, the, if you roll a number, let's say, again, the five rolls, mm -hmm. you're going to mark this. You now have, instead of with it, you're against it. So if, the, if they crap out before they hit Seven the five... Out. Seven out? Yep. <laughs> so crap numbers doesn't matter. A lot of people call it crap out. It's oh. technically a seven out. So seven out. Okay. if you roll a seven, you're going to win your bet. Oh, okay. If you roll yeah. a five, most people will be cheering. You lose your you bet. You lose. So it's just opposite. So, so is there some hate from the table when you bet this? Because you're against the roller? To a degree, there is. Yeah. In yeah. some cities and some places, they really don't like that. But it's your money. You bet <laughs> however you want. Okay. But there, if you do play this way, expect... A little flack from some people. I don't care. I have thick skin. I could care less. It's my money. I bet it however I want. But there are some people. Some people are bold enough to say, "Come on, you're betting against me." That sort of thing. <laughs> you're not. You're betting. You're both betting against the casino. Right. That's important to know. Right. So. But yeah. if I really don't like a guy, I might want to consider <laughs> betting this. <laughs> yeah, you could. I don't. Know. Especially if he's the shooter, and you go, "Okay, well, I'm betting against." Yeah. Exactly. Never... All right. So All right. again, it's opposite. Just like there's a come in the middle of the game, mm -hmm. there's a don't come. So oh, okay. if the puck's on, the next number that rolls, instead of putting it inside the box, they'll put it behind. Let's say we roll a nine, 
moves behind the nine. Now a seven wins, the nine loses. Hmm. Okay. So the nice thing about that, a lot, some players wait, wait, like wait. it. Sorry, I, I think ahead. I lost you. So if, if I bet this and yep. a seven comes out, I win. Nope. No. Remember, seven, 11, you lose. Two, three, you win. Bar, oh. And 12 is a tie. Remember, oh, okay. it's opposite. That's the same as this? Yep, that's but the same thing. You can bet it after the When initial. the puck is on. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Yep. It's so like what, a game within a game. what happens when it moves to the next number? Well, now that we have is. a bet against it. Against so, that number. Right, so just like... I see. Here... It's the same thing as Yep, this. you have a bet against the five. Oh, I see. Now this, you have a bet against the nine. It just happens to move so they can keep track of it. So okay. Okay. now if a seven rolls, you win your bet. Okay. People like to play this way because... Seven is the most common number to roll. So if you think about it, the first roll you're in a disadvantage because there's more ways to roll seven. Mm -hmm. But once a number rolls, you have the advantage. You have the advantage. You have the advantage. Okay. You're always more likely to win that bet. If hmm. you're on the pass line or a come bet, you have a big advantage to win on the first roll. But after it becomes a number, then you're behind. You're disadvantage, disadvantage, disadvantage every time. Okay. So, something to think about. Do you have a preference for which side, no. or you can play either way and it doesn't yeah, matter? Yeah, the really? math works out. It's like one-tenth of a percentage difference as far okay. as long-term house edge. So, if you think there are going to be a lot of sevens, you know what I mean? You could play the don'ts. Okay. If you think there are going to be more numbers rolled, then you play the pass sign. But if I knew, then I would be a millionaire, a rich <laughs> guy. So, <laughs> we don't know. The game goes up and down, so really, it's it's basically like a coin toss, red or black on roulette, I see. a player banker, bank, baccarat. It's like it's that close. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, so we've covered that. We've covered kind of all the bets. Again, as a beginner, I would just say observe the table, get comfortable. Okay. Maybe start with a pass line. Add six and eight. As you feel co more comfortable, you can add more numbers. I think I'm ready to get rich. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me cover one more thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is when you get paid, let's say the eight rolls. Yeah. They're going to pay you $14. They're going to put it in the cum, and then okay. usually you'll stack it and put it up to you. You have some options. So when you win a bet, you can always ask the dealer to return my bet. I'm, you don't have to bet it again. Oh, okay. You return it. Um, you can say, because they'll go around and ask each person, you know, because probably a lot of people have bet on the eight. Yeah. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? You could say same bet, which means... And add to it. Well, same bet would be same bet. You're going to leave the same oh, bet. And they go, okay. 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 There's your money. There's your profit. Mm -hmm. Now you have the same bet. One more option is you can press. Okay. So you can press any amount you want. Again, you want to do it in increments of six. So if you say press, usually that just means double. Okay. So we've won 14. If you said press, he would probably give you two and double your bet. So now you have a $24 bet. I see. Okay. You don't have to do that. But so can you press for less? Yep, you could press less. So we're already at the table um, minimum. We win 14. You could say, take my bet to 18. Okay. So they would just add $6 to it. And would it be correct etiquette to say press to 18? Well, or you, you say... You can make it 18, press to 18. Okay. It really doesn't matter. But if you just say the word press, They'll they're, they're just going to double your bet. Okay. So this is what I do a lot of times. So I'm increasing my bet, but I'm still pulling money back. Makes sense. Okay. So if I'm, I have $8 back. I've increased my bet to 18. Next bet will pay 21. So that's how you kind of make money. Okay is by increasing your bets, but it's kind of up to you how aggressive. Like some people, let's say we have 12, mm -hmm. and it's gonna pay 14. So sometimes when people win this, they will actually, what's called a power press, and they actually add more money. So in this case, oh, okay. they would add $4 and take this bet all the way up to $30 bet. So you're, you're increasing it, and investing more in the money, but now you have a really big $30 bet. What, what, what's the etiquette if you want to go above a press, it, instead of saying press? I, I say, I always like to tell the dealer what I want to go to. So, Increase to. Yeah, make, I, I think the term I, and it, it doesn't really matter, but I usually go 
Make, take my eight to 18. Take my I eight see. to 30. Um, just that's probably the best way to let a dealer know is tell them what number you want to go to. Very cool. And then they'll okay. let you know, well, I need $4 from you or they'll know how much change to give to you. So okay. it's probably best if you you can either same bet or um, just tell them what number you, you want to go to. Okay. All right, you can always regress your bet as an option. So if we have a $30 bet, you're, if you roll this eight, you're gonna get paid 35. You can always lower your bet. So you can go down to table minimum at this point. So not only have you won a good amount, so you say, take my eight to $12. All right, no problem. You get $18 and change. And then they're gonna set you up for a $12 bet. So now you still have a bet on the number, but now you've really kind of made a pretty good profit. So if you if you press, do you often then, if you hit it again, it's a good time to take it down and kind of lock up some of your winnings? Yeah, it's kind of, you play it however you feel comfortable. You know, some people are aggressive and they'll press and press and press and press and hopefully to hit the number six times and it never happens. Okay. Players like me, usually what I'll do is I'll collect the first one. So remember 12 plays 14. Okay. Um, this is kind of how I play it personally, 12 pays 14. I kind of consider that bet pay for. So then you would take this I would just keep that table. Yep, okay. off the table. I have a, basically a $2 profit. Okay. And then the next time I would press to bigger and then maybe collect one and then maybe press twice and collect. So okay. at this point, I don't, people call it um, house money or casino money because you're at this point, you're playing with profit, right? Or yeah. Yeah. It's technically still your money. But a lot of people like to say, well, that's the casino's money because you've won that money. It's paid for. Yeah. So I, I'm personally willing, even as a conservative player, to be a little more risky with this. Right. Right. So. Okay. Then all just comes down to personal preference. Um, that's kind of it. So really, you pick the numbers you want to bet on. And that's kind of it. And again... Start off simply to see how it goes. I, I think we can roll a couple times just so you can see how the flow of things go. Yeah, sounds great. And it kind of makes a little more sense when you roll it out. Um, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, simple game, just a little complicated on the bets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm sure the learning curve is steep, but then once you get it. So if you want to roll the dice, you, this is a required bet. You have to make one or the other. It's just okay. part of the game. Okay. If you're not rolling the dice, you don't necessarily have to make that. Okay. So let's say we're at a $10 table and this person sevened out. Now they're, they're going to ask you, do you like to shoot? Yes, I would. All right, so put at least $10. Okay. The pass or don't. They're going to dump the dice. And do I just grab two? They're going to let, they're going to push into you and they're going to let you choose two. Okay. The only thing you want to do is never touch them with two hands or switch hands. Okay. So one hand on the table, you pick two dice, your favorite dice, favorite numbers, whatever you want. Okay. And then now, just for video's sake, we throw it to the same side of the table. But we're on this side of the table, so in a real casino, you have to throw the opposite end. I see. It'll be very obvious once you're there, but <clears throat> just for our video, we have to throw the same side. Now, to impress people, I'm supposed yes. to blow on these, hold them a certain well, way. Well, since COVID, like I don't know about blowing, <laughs> but yeah, you could set them and have a little talk, whatever you, you feel comfortable, however you want to throw them, <laughs> throw them back, Backwards, whatever you want, yes. you know. So, yeah, there you go. So, okay. eight. All right. So, the puck is going to go on an eight. Now, you have a $10 bet on the eight. It moves there. Well, or I need to make a $10 it, bet. No, you have a bet on it already. So oh, right, because your bet is now right. a bet on the eight. And a seven would cause it to lose. Okay. So would you like to make any other bets? So yeah. remember, you can make an odds bet, which pays six to five. Let's do it. Okay. I, bet I put twice as much. Is that right? You could put as little as one times as much if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I'll put twice but as there much. there will be a maximum. The table will be listed at a certain Oh, maximum. it's not a minimum. It's a maximum. Yep. Okay. So because they don't want to lose too much money on the bet. Okay. And then if and I then want to bet... You can make a come bet to get another number like that to add odds if you'd like. Okay. You can make a field bet, or you can ask me to place a number. I see. Or you can ask the stick man to make any of these bets. So can I place on six and nine? Yep. Or do I say the amount? Do I say 12? Well, on they'll six know. And nine? So what they they'll know. do, they'll take this money and go, okay, you wanted a six and nine? Yeah, sure. 
So six and nine, they go, okay, well, he gave me a five. This is a $12 bet. So they're going to give you $3 and change and set you up a $12 bet here. And then do I need 12 no, Remember, on these are all increments of five. Oh, the oh. six and eight are the only odd, odd balls. Okay, perfect. So you okay. have a bet on the six, eight, and nine currently. Okay. Any other bets? Uh, should I? I'm going to nope. say no. Okay, no. It's totally up to you. You can have one bet. You can have... 100 bets. It's really kind of up to you how much you want to risk. Okay, here we go. Big money. All right. Nine. Center field nine. So 10 is going to pay 14. Oh. Now I should probably yell something like boom shakalaka at this That's point. That's a good one. So they're going to actually count oh, it out in the come and they'll probably pass it all the way out to you. There's your 14. Unless they, unless you would have told me otherwise. Press, same bet, whatever. So they put it here first and then I decide yeah, they, whether or not what, to What they'll press. do so they, they start in order and they'll go yeah. in order. And once they get to you, so you'll kind of see when it's coming. Yeah. Like it'll take care of this guy and then this guy. And then you'll see them take your money. They count it out. And if you can catch them, you could just tell me. Otherwise, they're going to, some of them are put really fast. So they'll just put out in front of you. Okay. But it doesn't hurt you at that point. You could say, well, I, you know, I want to increase or so, whatever. Or take it down or whatever you want. So, so what, what would I you like to do? Press five here. Yep, you can. So okay, we'll make I it a $15 bet. Okay. There you go. All right. Any other changes? I don't think so. Okay. Here we go. Six, easy six. So here, 12 is going to pay 14. Anything? Uh, let's press six. Okay. Is that, is it, no, increase to 18. Yeah, I, I like to say what I want to take the bet to. Increase so to 18. So we're going to take it to 18. Sorry, take my bet to 18, please. Yep, or make my six look like 18. Something, something okay. along those lines. Okay. So you've pulled some profit off yeah. and you've increased your bets. If you hit them, you're in good shape. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Any hard ways, any hopping you know bets? What? You know what? I'm feeling a, okay. uh, a hard way. Oh, no, I hand that to you. Well, the stick man, yeah. You could yeah. toss it to him. It's actually fun because you can toss them into the stick man. So he'll kind of, you kind of make eye contact. Okay. And he'll try to catch him if you can, but if you can make eye contact and say like hard 10 and toss okay. it, the key is like not to toss it like this. So it hits the table and rolls all okay. over the place. Try okay. and keep it flat like a saucer. Okay. So it's kind of fun. So if you're on the side of the table, give me a hard 10. Okay. And try to throw it in the middle. Usually you want their attention first because sometimes you'll see like all five players go, give me a hard 10. <laughs> Right, money money's flies flying in. everywhere. Yeah, so yeah. get their attention. A lot of times they'll catch it and they'll, and they'll go, all right. So okay. what do you want? And remember, you can go as low as a dollar on these if you want. Let's go uh, hard eight. All right. So hard eight and they'll put you right. Anything else? Nope. And then they'll now, send... The hard eight I am rolling until I either get an easy eight or a seven, right? Well, those are the bad those numbers. Are the, you, want, the you want a hard eight, yeah, but yeah, those yeah. will cause you to lose. Yep. Any yeah. other number doesn't affect it. All right, here we go. Five, no field five. So you don't have a bet in any way on the okay. five, so, it, nothing, so nothing happens. Nothing happens, okay. So every time after a roll, they'll pull the dice to the middle of the table, and that's when all the bets take place. Okay. And once they send the dice out to the player, no more bets happen. So okay. if they're going like this and go, someone else starts betting, you'll see them go, oh, okay, we'll just pull it back in the middle and let the bets finish. So any more bets? Nope, no bets. All right, we'll send them back out to you. Okay, here we go. Oh, dice off the table and that happens a lot of people like my table doesn't have walls here but some people are really nervous that the dice will go off the table it happens it's no big, deal. big deal okay what well, the some people they'll give you the same die back or they'll just they'll ask you to pick another dice okay. it really doesn't matter okay. so except for they won't a good dealer will never send you the bad number okay <laughs> all right here we go and seven. So seven, seven out. Seven out. Okay. It pucks on, which means they're going to go like this, sadly. And all that money goes away. Okay. And even though you collected, I think, twice of $8, you still overall lost. lost. Right. Because okay. you had that money out there. The puck will go off. Okay. And now they'll take the dice and they'll dump it and it'll go to the next player. Gotcha. Clockwise on the table. And it'll be his turn to roll the dice. Cool. And that's kind of it. So... Um, yeah, as, as a beginner, maybe the pass line, you could even skip it and just the six and eight, place the six and eight and see what happens. Okay. Maybe hit one, maybe press one, um, maybe spread out to more numbers. And then there are different strategies where people will use a couple of these numbers and this, and there's all kinds of strategies, right? 
So all they are are just a combination of bats. We call them strategies. There's no way to make the house edge below zero, right? Yeah. There's just not a way to do it. Every bet has a percentage that the casino keeps. So no matter how you mix up your bets, you're not going to win long term in this game. But there are ways, you know, there's ways to be more aggressive. There's ways to kind of bet where you just kind of go back and forth and you could play all day with a little amount of money. Hmm. So it just kind of depends on what your goal is of how you want to play. There's different strategies to accomplish those type of things. Do you take different strategies in each time or do you play the same way? Pretty no, much? I, I, especially because I have a channel and show different things, I yeah. kind of play all kinds of different stuff. Everything. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. But my, my main go-to is, is I'll make place bets, you know, start on the inside numbers. And a lot of times if it's good roll, I'll place all the numbers and just kind of, that's just how I like to play, to yeah. cover most yeah. of the numbers. So but there's so many different ways to play this game. That's why it's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the basics. And uh, any other questions I can answer for you? No, thanks, man. I, I think I'm ready to throw a couple of those 10 straps on a table and all right. see what happens. Well, now that I've <laughs> taught you a little bit about crafts, hopefully I'm going to check out your channel, Potato Poker, and then get a personal lesson from you on how to get a little bit better at poker. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. So until next time, good luck on coloring up. Thank <laughs> you.